Praise the Lord, precious saints. Well, this very day, the Lord has stirred up my spirit to pray a prayer against all forms of witchcraft attacks that are coming against your home. That is, we're going to say a prayer of deliverance against every hex or vex or curse or any cantation that has been spoken where your name or your photo has been placed on any unholy altar. Whatever it is that is coming against you, we're going to pray against that. But first, we must understand what is a curse and how do we break that curse because today we think of cursing as someone probably just using foul language profanity or perhaps even blasphemy words against God because our definition usually is to do with just swearing but this is a form of cursing but it is only a small portion of what curses even mean in the Bible. Cursing in the Bible is not only speaking evil of someone, but evil coming upon someone. So if a person under a curse, according to the Bible, evil has come upon them in some way. So sickness, tragedy, or bad circumstances are occurring in their life. So we can see that. So let's look at this. So this does not mean that every difficult situation that we go through is a curse, but sometimes God leads us through circumstances to stretch our faith. But this is for our own good, as it is helping us to grow stronger and identify ourselves with him. However, he is not bringing anything upon us but rather leading us through circumstances so that we might experience his overcoming power for the duration of this of of the course of your life he wants to strengthen you but we're going to talk about evil curses and breaking of those evil curses so even today in many cultures witch doctors or shamans put curses on people through demonic powers in some cultures for example voodoo is practice so this includes such practices as as you know uh, getting a pin and striking a doll and piercing that doll that's made in the image of that person now usually for some uh, they use that person's hair, fingernail clippings, and so forth, incorporated into the doll. Hateful words are projected as that doll is stabbed over and over, but there are also a more gruesome practices used. However, with all the evil witchcraft that is practiced, or the rituals that are taking place, it is hatred and evil projected from these people that is aimed at the target person that causes the harm. So the curse spoken over that doll do not come to pass because of the doll or the pins. There is no power in those uh, intimate objects. They come to pass because of the demonic power operating through the person speaking forth the curses because the bible says that life and death comes from the tongue so in many cultures other than western societies that we see or developed nations people have no problem understanding these curses and blessings because the presence of demonic beings is very real to them in fact in many places they leave offerings to appease evil spirits might maybe in the form of an idol maybe in the form of a tree maybe in the form of whatever it is and that for the purpose of warning them off so that they will leave them alone so they're always appeasing them when you go to bali when you go to different nations you'll see that people appease these spirits so that they will not bring a curse upon them so if you're not being uh, affected by a curse you'll actually come to understand because God has given us authority. When we accept Jesus, we can be free from demonic oppression and actually have authority over the devil and his curses according to Luke 9 verse 1. Instead of these spirits having power over you and your family. So today, in today's culture, some Christians still have curses operating against them. That is because various occult practices are openly practiced 
practiced in societies of today. So many Christians need to be freed from curses spoken against them because or before that they were saved or generational curses or from the curses that have come upon them through involvement in idolatry or witchcraft according to Deuteronomy 29 verses 24 to 28. We have been redeemed from the curse that is we walk in windfall rebellion We are breaking covenant and that leaves holes for the enemy to bring a curse upon us. Many Christians mistakenly believe that the devil cannot come near them in any way. But the Bible does not support this theory. When Paul wrote to uh, Ephesians 4 verses 27, he said this, Not to give or nor give any place for the devil or any foothold or any place. So he was writing to Christians. Curses can work against Christians if you are in rebellion, out of the will of God, or not walking in faith and love, or in unforgiveness. So however, if we are walking where God wants us to walk, a hundred curses against us would just bounce off and would not even be able to harm us. So the story of Balaam and Israel gives a good example of this principle in Numbers 22. Although Balaam was not an Israelite he was a prophet of God and the kings of Moab and Midian wanted him to curse the Israelites during the journey from Egypt to Canaan so the elders of those nations offered him what apparently was a lot of money and he tried to do what their king wanted but he could not he tried three times but was not able to do anything but to bless Israel see because Jesus took that curse for us so before we were born again we walked under the law of sin and death but after we have been regenerated we are under the law of the life of christ jesus who became a curse for us for the law of the spirit of life in christ jesus has not made me has made me free from the law of sin and death according to romans 8 verse 2 hallelujah so christ according to uh galatians 3 verse 13 to 14 it says christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law being made a curse for us that it is written curses everyone that hangeth on the tree that the blessings of abraham might come upon the gentiles through christ jesus that we might receive the promise of the spirit through faith hallelujah so how wonderful is our inheritance as christians we do not get the evil that should be ours we all deserve hell but when we come to jesus we get heaven we are not under the curse of sickness and death on any longer but we are now have the power over sin through jesus christ sin can no longer pull us around like bulls with rings in our nose because we know that leading an animal by that ring must hurt his nose sometimes but many of us have been led around hurting with rings in our noses however we have to want to come out and overcome the habit of sinning god will not violate our wills if we want to keep on sinning after we have saved from the law of sin and death he will allow us to do so we need to clearly understand that when we sin it produces the death principle in our life so although we are children of god we have been given the covenant of blessing idols in our hearts and lives can cause us to open in ways that will bring a curse so those who come under the curse of god are unbelievers and christians who knowingly and debatably continue in sin so the way to break a curse is to repent of whatever involvement has incurred on the enemy's territory and rebuke the devil out of your life so that you may also pray lord along with me right now i want you to repeat this prayer say father i ask you to first forgive me for my sins and cleanse me from any area where i have allowed the devil to enter in i renounce any involvement with the works of darkness in jesus name i now cancel every curse and father i ask you to forgive the people who has spoken them against me in jesus name 
I thank you that those curses will no longer operate against me or my family. In Jesus' name, they are broken right now by the power of the Almighty God. I cancel every evil that was spoken against me and I ask you to cover me and my family with your protection according to your word in Psalm 91. The Bible tells us in James 4, 7, to submit yourselves therefore to God, resist the devil and he will flee. And I proclaim that Jesus Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law by becoming a curse for us, for it is written, cursed is everyone who hangs on a tree. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. So we're going to get into the spiritual warfare now, and we're going to come against the plans of the devil against your life. So get ready to receive these prayers as they are spoken. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lord, we come to you as your children, born again, redeemed and washed in the blood of Jesus. And we declare you, Jesus, have redeemed us from the curse of the law, having become a curse for us. We proclaim that we are partakers of the inheritance of the saints of God. And we give thanks unto you, Father, for delivering us from all the powers of darkness and translating us into the kingdom of your dear Son. As one who is covered with the blood of Jesus, we hear and now reject and disown all the sins and pacts and dedication, curses and occult selections of our ancestors and our relatives, specifically any person responsible for the curse right now in the name of Jesus, which has been or has passed on to us intentionally or unintentionally. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we ask you, Lord, that we are redeemed and cleansed from all curses, incantations, dedications, spells, pacts, familiar spirits passed on to us from our parents, grandparents, great-grandparents, ancestors, relatives of any other people specifically that we may not know. And we now appropriate in our life Jesus' work on the cross to free us from all curses in the name of our Lord Jesus. We rebuke and break and loose ourselves and our children and our children to be from all evil curses, charms, <coughs> vexes, hexes, spells, incartations, hexes, jinxes, psychic powers, bewitchments, packs, dedications or sorcery that have been put on us or our family line or by any other person or persons in the name of Jesus or from any occult Celtic or any cultic, satanic or psychic source we declare all these curses, dedications, and pecks null and void. In Jesus' name we pray. We bring the blood sacrifice of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, His blood shed upon the cross against all blood sacrifices and rituals and their every claim against us. We bring Jesus Christ, the Son of God, sacrifice for us against all ritual sacrifices and every claim against us. We bring the dedication of Jesus Christ for us in death upon the cross against every ritual dedications. In the name and the blood of Jesus Christ, we break the power and hold of every curse that has come to us through rituals or ritual sacrifices in the name of Jesus and by the blood of Jesus Christ we break the power and hold of every curse that has come to us through transferred by another human being in Jesus name in the name and by the blood of Jesus Christ we break the power and hold of every curse that has come to us through words spoken in the name and by the blood of Jesus Christ we break the power and hold of 
of every curse that has come to us through occultic practices in Jesus name in the name of Jesus Christ I declare every legal hold and every legal ground of the enemy broken disarmed and destroyed Satan has no hold over us thou through the curses or occult practices through sacrifices or any rituals of any kind through the blood of Jesus Christ we are free thank you Jesus for setting us free from all powers of the enemy we order those curses and claims utterly disarmed and dismantled now through the power of the blood of Jesus Christ and in his name Jesus in the name of Jesus Christ we command all demonic spirits that have gained access to us through curses and rituals cut off and banished from us and our household in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Jesus we ask you to send your angels now to completely disarm all curses and black arts from us Lord disarm their every device and render them destroyed and we ask your angels to remove all foul spirits involved in these curses and black arts and bind them by your feet for judgment and we claim every spiritual blessing Lord that is from our Heavenly Father to be given unto us in Jesus name according to Ephesians 1 3 we claim those blessings right now here in the very place of all cursing by the authority and the power of the Lord Jesus Christ and in his name Jesus may these things be fully accomplished now in your mighty or glorious name in the name of Jesus Christ we break and loose ourselves and our family from all curses caused by those habits charms hexes spells jinxes psychic powers sorcery witchcraft love fortunes psychic powers violence trauma Lord's physical bondages mental bondages incest illigamacy Lord any abandonment rejection and divination in the family or on the mother or the father's side going all the way back to Adam and Eve we break and loose ourselves and our family from any vows that have been made from any person or any occultic or psychic source and any demons coming through bloodlines we cancel all invitations made to uh, made to any unclean spirits father we break and renounce all evil soul ties Lord that we have ever had with lodgers or or any type of sexual partners close friends relatives engagements cults or occultic objects dolls figurines or food or junk food cigarettes drugs movies anime TV shows computer games gambling porn masturbation fornication or secular music we renounce all these ties and declare them destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ we renounce break and loose from ourselves and from our family all other religions especially anything to do with Roman Catholicism Hinduism Islam Buddhism, Mormonism, Jehovah's Witness, New Age, Atheism, and any other religion or belief. And we also renounce uh, any unbelief, doubt, lies, fear, hatred, and anger. And we bind and cast out right now all any and all related spirits. We renounce and break and loosen ourselves from all demonic subjection to our parents or any human being, living or dead, who has dominated us in any way against the will of God thank you for setting us free we command Satan to loose all natural resources land animals money the finances of people who owe us money and all the things that you have stolen from our family and that is ours through the blessings of Jesus father please send your angels to bring these things back to us in the name of Jesus Christ Lord we pray right now through the blood of Jesus that we are redeemed out of the hand of the devil devil and of all our sins are forgiven the blood of Jesus Christ cleanses us from all sins we are justified and made righteous just as if we had not never even sinned and we are set apart God our body is the temple for the Holy Spirit redeemed and cleansed by the blood of Jesus I belong to Jesus now body soul and spirit his blood 
protects us against all spirits. Satan has no more power over us, no more place inside of us. We renounce, renounce all evil spirits completely and declare them to be our enemies. Jesus said, all these signs shall follow them who believe. In the name shall they cast out devils, according to Mark 16 verse 17. I and we are believers in the name of Jesus and we exercise authority and our authority to, ex to expel all evil spirits. We command them to leave according to the word of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you for cleansing us and healing us from the effects of these curses, spells and incantations in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth and setting us free from the powers of darkness, from everything, whoever came in the flesh. Lord, we pray today in the name of Jesus Christ, Father in heaven, we pray right now, you will send the Holy Spirit to fill us in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I pray right now, you will give us that authority right now. You will give us that authority as I pray these prayers over each person to get deliverance. I ask for your legions upon legions of angels from heaven in the name of Jesus, Lord, to station around us. Lord, we pray to outnumber, to outclass, to outmatch every demonic spirit angels of the Lord as Jesus commanded attack every unclean spirit in Jesus mighty name I bind the principalities powers rulers of darkness spiritual wickedness and all the strong demons in the name of Jesus I command all demons not to transfer go exactly where Jesus wants you to go and not come back we cancel all demonic assignments on this person right now that I'm praying for that is listening to this tongue Lord I pray right now. Lord, I speak the following commands right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I remit the sins of this person right now. In the name of Jesus, I separate every foul spirit from this person's soul in accordance to the word of God. According to Hebrews 4, 4, 4, 12, it says the word of God is sharper than a two-edged sword right now. I cut every foul spirit from this person with the sword of the spirit. Unclean spirits are commanded you to manifest and come out of this person in the name of Jesus Christ. Demons are command you to come out of their mouth now and never come back in Jesus mighty name. You will go back to the pit. You will go back to the pit up and out right now. Go back to the pit up and out right now. I send the Holy Spirit fire to burn you a thousand times hotter than hell in the name of Jesus. Fire from the head to the toe right now. It will only get hotter and hotter and hotter in Jesus name I send the Holy Spirit all over your body in the mighty name of Jesus fire from the head to the toe right now it will only get hotter and hotter I send the Holy Spirit all over the room the floor and the ceiling fire from the head to toe and it's just gonna get hotter and hotter in Jesus mighty name every evil spirit hears my voice right now and I command you to tell the truth in the name of Jesus. Tell us your name right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Tell us your name right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Tell us your name. What is your name? You will come out. How long have you been there right now? I command you right now in the name of Jesus. And what have you been doing inside of them? And for how long have you been going on and operating? And for what legal right is there? Is there any legal right? I command you right now to reveal these things right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, as you have said those things, every evil spirit that hears my voice, I command you right now to attack the strong man that you are operating under right now. Do not stop in the name of Jesus. I order civil war in the name of Jesus. Every evil spirit attack each other in the name of Jesus Christ. Destroy your own kingdom. I loose burning judgment and destruction upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. I command you to look at Jesus and do what he tells you to do in the name of Jesus. Look at Jesus right now and do what he tells you to do. We ask you right now, we cut off all evil spirit connections to this body and burn it away in the name of Jesus Christ. It will burn out right now. We cut off 
every spiritual connection to this body and burn it away in the name of Jesus Christ. You'll burn off now. We torment you demons and give you no rest in the name of Jesus Christ. Father in heaven, send power from the third heaven to destroy these demons in the name of Jesus Christ. We trample on you demons and scatter your being in the name of Jesus Christ. We come against every unclean spirit by the blood of the Lamb. This is a child of God and their body is been sanctified by the blood of Jesus Christ. We rebuke right now and cast out every unclean spirit to the pit and command them never to return in the name of Jesus. Warrior angels hook into the demons and rip them apart and send the demons to the pit in the name of Jesus Christ. Warrior angels flog those demons and choke them out and send those demons to the pit in Jesus mighty name. Heavenly Father, you you will release your power and your glory right now. Send fire right now upon the enemy. It will be cast out and will go back to the pit of hell right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Those that are moving in the body, those that are stubborn right now, I command you to come out of them and go back to the pit of hell right now in the name of Jesus. I command you evil spirit to come out of them and go back to the pit of hell. Heavenly Father, I thank you that that you would fill them right now with your Holy Spirit from the top of their head to the soles of their feet right now. Lord, I pray for the Holy Spirit to fill every void, every void, every void, every void in their body right now. You will fill them right now. You will fill them, fill them, fill them, fill them, fill them from the top of their head to the soles of their feet right now. Fill them with your peace, with your love, with your joy, with the fruits of the Holy Spirit. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for what you're doing and that you're bringing that freedom. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. So if we think that someone is speaking curse upon us, we should not send a curse back on the one who sent it to us. But we are not to return evil for evil, but rather overcome evil with good, according to Romans 12, verse 21. So ask God to forgive them, because many times they do not know what they are doing. Stephen said they do not know what they do. Jesus said they do not know what they do, and forgive them. If you intercede for such persons that you may know that are doing this, then you are obeying the word which allows the Holy Spirit to cancel the curse automatically because if we are speaking good and praying for those who would speak seek harm against us we should also quote the scripture that promised us protection such as Psalm 91 you've got to speak it over your life so remember the devil is the fallen one and we have the power over him so we need to not fear him as we have all authority over him in faith and he cannot hurt us. We have power over all curses through the name of mighty names, our Lord Jesus Christ. So be blessed today as the Lord blesses you and the Lord sets you free. And if you need to continue to listen to this prayer to get your freedom, then please do so. But you are blessed today and I bless you in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. This is Pastor Robert Clancy from Narrowpath Ministries in Perth, Western Australia as we are catching the fire of repentance revival as we're preparing for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Shalom, shalom, shalom.